actually the project that's in front. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I guess a lot of times in games I don't really know the score, uh, which is probably something I need to work on, but I'm not sure why I thought we were up by two goals, um, which probably made the next 90 seconds a little um, less stressful for me, which is nice, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll work on that <laughs> for next week. What do you think the score is? I thought we were already a goal up, so I thought I'd put us up by two goals. So, yeah, I was, I was pretty calm in the last 90 seconds, which isn't great, but yeah. <laughs> through that play, it's obviously a great vision of you and the work that you put in to actually get into that position. It's obviously a strength of yours, but what was, what was going through your head when you saw the um, steward kick out to go through? What, what was going through your head in that play? Uh, it's honestly a bit of a blur, um, not going to lie, but I think it's part of our structure that if we're in that position, you just got to go. Um, defender, forward, wh whatever position you play. So um, I just knew to sprint sprint forward and get up um, and support Chucky in the end. And yeah, it was lucky that it paid off, but yeah. Uh, yeah, um, I'm still sore from the other day. Um, I was cramping throughout that whole play, so um, I get very gassed. Uh, I don't think I would have that good of a, good of a tank, but um, yeah, still still feel it. <laughs> Are you given a license for when the ball is being turned over to just have a score? Yeah, to an extent. Um, I, I, I don't want to run too much that I um, leave us vulnerable on defence, so um, it's kind of a there's a fine line to it of getting hard forward. Um, and then, yeah, helping out in defence as well. How do you assess your the last two years and how quickly you've adapted to, to the highest level? Do you, do you see it as a bit of a surprise and coming on quicker than you expected or did you always have that inner belief that you have been this uh, I think I had inner belief um, early on, but last year was difficult for me. Um, I was lucky enough to play games, which I didn't expect I would. I thought I'd be in VFL for a good two years at least. Um, but. I, st I still struggled out there with the pace, I think. Um, I I've kind of worked it out a bit this year and feel a lot more comfortable um, with, with the speed of the game and um, my own capacity to play as well. So, yeah, I think it's been it's nice um, to improve. But I've, I've had the inner belief from day one, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, obviously there are yeah, lots of blokes that can help out. Um, I guess coming in at the same time as um, Jerry Cameron and Isaac Smith were really good, um, as well as Joel, obviously. Um, he's a great mentor for all of us, so um, yeah. But I've had plenty of different brains to tap into and um, different guys to learn off, which has been yeah, really positive for me, I guess. Do you see yourself becoming an inside mid? Yeah, probably. Um, as a junior, I played a bit inside mid, um, more so than wing, I guess. Um, but right now, I'm just playing my role, um, doing what the team needs me to do. I think in games, I've gone, gone inside at times when, when we might need it. So um, I'll continue doing that um, over the next few weeks if, if necessary. But yeah. Yeah, uh, well, Paf's obviously a, a great player and um, that's just the side at the moment. It's, it's very um, tough team. Players like Axe playing, Tom Atkins playing really well this year. Um, and then like Blitz as well going going to the midfield. Um, so yeah, it, it is a tough team to crack into. So I think it's it's positive though. It um, helps everyone kind of yeah stay on, the, stay on the toes as you said um, and try and play their best each week.